in creating a pivot table when uh, one of the variables is um, non-integer such as uh, the variable net sales in this column is not integer meaning that it has decimal points in it when we do our um, uh, cross tabulation uh, what we need to do is round those off so that we do not end up with uh, overlapping uh, classes so to round I'm going to put here equals round and it's the cell that I want to round to zero so that the values I'm dealing with are integers and then I can go and copy that down so all net sales are now um, are now rounded values so now that I have this column uh, let's see how this is um, different. If I go to um, any cell and in this table and click on it uh, and do insert pivot tables, all that um, table um, is selected. I will um, use this existing worksheet at this location to create and report my pivot table and when I say OK I have this dialog box that opens customer type I want to put in row labels um, let's try net sales in, as column variables and um, let's try and then of course count of customers is what we want right now it's under sum of values we can change that so what we end up with is this pivot table with all these uh, numbers but of course we need to classify that so if I point to that cell, right click, go to group, um, the range of values goes from $13.23 to $287.59. So I know that the range of values, if I select them to be 0 to 300, uh, both all my minimum and maximum are included. So I want to group them like that with 50 being my, um, uh, my class size. So if I click OK, notice what happens. I do have my uh, columns that are created, my classes that are created, but look over here, 0 to 50 and then 50 to 100, and then 100 to 150. So I have overlapping classes. So um, that's not good. And the reason for that is because net sales, um, the original values that I used here, um, are um, have decimals in them. So if I were to take net sales out and now include um, rounded net sales uh, as part of my analysis, then I can go and group again from 0 to 300 and now also group by 50. But notice now I don't get overlapping classes. I get 0 to 49, then 50 to 99, etc. But this table doesn't look right because this right here, these cell entries are um, a summation of the number of customers. Um, what I need to do is do a count. So if I click, point my mouse here, right click, and then value field settings, and choose count, now I have the numbers in count, or if I point, right click, show value as, and then come here and do percentage of total, row total, then I have uh, everything in time, ter percentage of um, totals going in rows, you can see that every row goes up, adds up to 100%. And of course I can change that view, I can highlight all of that, right click on it go to format sales and it is already in percentage but i want to maybe take it to no decimal and then click ok and now i have everything in percentages thank you